Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm just here in the cabin on the allotment. Just come to do a few little bits and bobs. Thought I'd light the fire, keep the shed just uh, just dry. Stop the moisture from the wood and the really wet weather we've had. Stop it just percolating in, getting everything damp. Yeah, so I've just put a few little sticks in there with a bit of paraffin on them. I'll just give you a little update on the little hybrid rocket stove. And just tell you how I found it since I've been using it, maybe 20 to 30 burns somewhere around there. What I think about it and what I'm going to do to it to modify it slightly. Anyway, so I'll just get a kettle on. I'll bring you back when we're burning. All the primary air feeds are now open, it's forcing the oxygen on the air to exactly the places I want it to go. And we soon have a raging fire within a few minutes. Brew's ready guys, for the second time it's ready, because I boiled it before, wandered out, got a bit involved with a few bits and bobs, came back in, the kettle had nearly boiled dry. So yeah. Boiled it, just boiled it for the second time. Anyway, I'm going to talk about the stove now when I've made this brew. Cheers everybody and a happy new year. I'll tell you what, this little stove does not make a good brew. It does. So this is just a little update on how I've found the stove during the last, you know, so weeks and weeks since I've built it. Um, any problems I've found, any little quirks with it. Um, as I've already said, this was absolutely a prototype. The development of it has been uh, recorded on my Patreon channel for my patrons and it's got to where it is now. It is going to get changed next year. Uh, well, sorry, no, this year. Yeah, it's going to get changed this year. I'm going to build a slightly bigger one, a slightly wider firebox. Maybe you're just slightly higher. But we're also adding a horizontal riser tube to this stove. Uh, we're going to try and turn it into a full-blown rocket stove this year um, but I'm all it's that it having built the prototype it's also now going to allow me to just get things exactly where they need to be so the correct position for the air uh, supplies it's going to have four air supplies it's got three at the moment it's going to have four but I know exactly where they need to be the position the placement everything the stove itself is beautiful so as a standalone little hybrid stove this is going forward can't improve on it other than getting those few corrections made. The next step is to turn it into a sort of full blown rocket stove as I have just said by putting a horizontal riser in um, and that will allow this stove to become much bigger then. I think if this stove is increased to as it stands is increased to a sort of big one you know it won't quite be as efficient as it is in its smaller state because this is exactly how I designed this to be a very small compact stove that is mighty efficient and in that respect this has worked well but we're going to change it we're going to turn it into a full-on sort of rocket um, that can then be scaled up to heat a massive building if you like the beauty of this little hybrid is and also the beauty of the next version of this with the horizontal riser will be the simplicity of the build. It's going to just be so easy to build. It's going to be a lot more cost effective than a traditional rocket stove. Simpler, cheaper. So you're not faffing about with vertical riser tubes and all the fabrication that you need to build add-on fireboxes. This is compact, it's just all in one. The new stove will be identical but with a change and easy to build but a small footprint like this a little tiny footprint uh, so I'm not I'm not going to waffle on too much about it guys what I've found about is during the last sort of maybe 20 25 burns that I've had in it um, it burns so efficiently and so clean that over the last so sort of 20 25 burns that I've probably had in it I'd be struggling to fill that cup twice with ash that's come out of this. The ash, it burns everything to absolutely nothing. The ash comes out as fine as talcum powder. You don't really need to clean the stove out. You put your hand in, you pat the ash down, it's virtually gone. You load it up with fuel and you burn it. So a typical burn would be using 
sticks, little sticks like this that I pick up maybe inch and a quarter, inch and a half wide. I pick up sort of deadfall, dried stuff like this, chop it into lengths, that sort of size. I start the fire on these sort of size little sticks. So initially I'll fill the firebox up with them, which is about five inches square, the firebox by about 12 inches long. It'll get loaded with them. That'll be its first initial burn. That will bring this cabin up to 20. Let me just open this door because it's, it's too hot. That will bring this cabin up to a sort of 27 centigrade where it is now. The stove will be currently probably pumping out 400 centigrade. Yeah, it is. It's pumping out 400, 424 centigrade at the moment. Uh, the way I'm managing it slightly is to put these bricks, these uh, sort of fire bricks on top, which act as a bit of a heat sink, stop it releasing some of that heat. That gets sucked into those bricks and then they'll release heat out when the fire's gone out. I'm going to put a flag against that wall there, a paving flat slab against the wall because the plywood is getting rather warm. It's 135 centigrade at the moment on that side of the stove, but that paving slab will act again as a heat sink, suck in the heat from the stove and then release it slowly. And it'll also stop my shed getting really hot. Um, so there are the changes I'm going to make. Once I've got the fire going, as I say, on one burn, that's enough heat in this shed then. I then need to maintain that stove, that burn. I can either use about four or five of sticks like that. They'll burn for possibly up to an hour, four or five sticks like that. And that's with the air supply then shut down. Or I can go for one log that sort of size, about four to five inches. Uh, four and a half inches, you would struggle to probably to get a five inch log in it. Um, and about 12 inches long if I've got one, that's probably what, six, seven inches. Uh, so I'll put one of them in and then the air will be shut down again and that will just gas off that log and that will burn for about two hours, two to two and a half hours. So that's currently how I burn the stove. It's, it's really is an excellent, amazing little hybrid. It burns clean. I'm really pleased with the way it burns so clean. So it's just putting out condensation at the moment. Um, I'm more than happy with the heat out, but it's too hot really for this shed. And I'm, I'm just pleased with its, with the way it operates, the way it burns, everything about it. The ease of lighting is just not a problem with it. Um, yeah, the only thing, it, the only thing it doesn't like, but that's you know this is in relation to a lot of wood burning stoves. It doesn't like damp wood or wet wood. It will burn it, but it doesn't like it because it will mess the glass up. You can see how clean the glass is there. I never really have to wash the glass, it's, it cleans itself. There's little air gaps around the door. It's when the air, primary air supplies are shut down, it's scavenging air from around the doorway to just burn off the gas, which is enough to keep the glass clean. It's washing past the glass. I maybe just have to wipe it if it gets a little bit dusty in there, you know, no real washing of the glass involved. So it tars up when you start the fire, it, you know, the gases are shooting out, hitting the glass, it goes a bit black. 10 minutes the glass is completely clean wonderful and that's all really all I can tell you about it I'm just delighted with it it's superb for this little cabin well if you want to see how this thing develops I'm, I'm afraid you'll have to go on to my patron um, there'll probably be at least three or to four more videos trying to iron out this horizontal riser addition to this little stove but I will I will come back to YouTube with the results of you know when once this stove has been fully rocketed if it works, which I think it will, if it works, then I'll bring you back and I'll show you the rock, fully rocketed up horizontal riser rocket stove. All right. Anyway, happy new year. Hope you have a good one this year. Um, I'm going to be doing quite a bit more content on my other veg plot channel because I just, you know, I love being at the allotment and growing my food, self-sufficiency and all. Um, so I will see you quite soon, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks to all my subscribers, thank you to my patrons, see you all this year for more content, bye for now. So I'm going to finish my brew, get a few little jobs done on the allotment and uh, I'll sign out and let you just look at the stove. A little bit of b-roll. Bye.